What's up, streamers? Welcome to the my MCU worst to best countdown, number twenty and twenty. Uh, sorry, number twenty one and twenty two. You probably have guessed which have uh, been on my list on this list right now. And um, well, if you haven't watched my review, then I, I just did a moment ago. It's going to be probably spoilers, but basically 21 and 22, uh, Infinity War and Endgame. It's, we've re reached the final part of the countdown, and it's the part that I just, that we've been waiting for since the MCU has started. So, Avengers Infinity War 2018 goes for two hours, two and a half hours. Um, basically has everyone, but, uh, Paul Bettany as well. Um, and Paul Bettany gets the shit kicked out of him in this one. Like, fucking hell. Um, but this is basically a Thanos movie. And it shows. It's, re it's really well done. Um, it's dark. He, uh, it shows how Thanos, uh, thinks and works as a leader. Uh, um... Uh, as um, someone who want who has a mission, wants to get the mission done, and decides to do it. Um, if you want to play chicken with him, he doesn't give a fuck. Um, Loki tries to play chicken with him in the first uh, few minutes, and he tortures the shit out of Thor. And it's like, okay, okay, okay I give up. Um, uh, Z uh, Gamora tries to keep information hidden away from. Thanos, and he tortures the shit out of Nebula. I was just like, I can do this all day. I don't care. Mm. It's like, okay, I'll tell you. It's like, <laughs> he has... He doesn't care. If he, wa he wants the stones, he'll get the stones. He'll get the information from you. Um, the, uh, the, the, the way it brings everyone into the fold is really well done. Um... Thor, uh, Hulk, uh, comes back to Earth, um, Doctor Strange gets, um, I, uh, Tony to try and convince him about, um, what's been happening, but Tony already knows, because he, he's been having visions of him for about the last six years, and it's just basically the minions, um, trying to get the stones, for Thanos, um, and it's just so well done, like, it's, epic it's brutal it's awesome the the team up of okay how how does it go it's uh iron man doctor strange spider-man and the guardians of the galaxy well as one team then it's uh captain america black widow falcon uh, with um, Vision and Scarlet Witch as another team. Then it's Thor and um, Rocket and um, Groot as another team. And then Captain America's team teams up with Black Panther for a fucking humongous battle. And it's really well done. Um... I, I, I absolutely love this one. Um, I cried. Well, I said I don't get. I don't care if you know. I cried in this one. It was um, it just showed how uh epic since the very first movie, and we've become and all that stuff. Uh, the most devastating part was when. The the idiotic thing about it was, you knew they knew what they needed to do, but uh, Scarlet Witch loved Vision and didn't want to kill him off. But that, but he had the Soul Stone and, and needed Soul Stone, yeah. I think, and he needed to die so uh, so um, um Thanos didn't have the uh the the Gauntlet fully and um. 
who was it? Um, fucking, and um, Pratt, Chris Pratt, Star Lord. He let his emotions get to him, and was being a bit too much of a dickhead. And when he learned that Gamora died, he uh, ruined the plan, and that's how um Thanos got the glove. Uh, and um, it's just like you fucking idiot. That's what. Like, since his um, Guardians 1, uh, Star-Lord has come downhill as a main character. It's like, dude, you are such a dumbass. In more ways than one. But when... Uh, the watching um, Thor's uh, Stormbreaker get made is awesome. Having um, Groot have an attitude is, is so hilarious. It's like... And Groot, it's like, I want to know what he said because it's like, it's so sa- sassy and bitchy order, apparently. Um, and, and, uh, the, just watching the devastation as, um, when Thanos clicked his fingers and half of all life disappears, the more, the most emotional was, um, <clears throat> Groot, being that his last I am Groot was, I think it was Daddy or I Love You Daddy to Rocket, um, and uh, Tom Holland with um, Mr. Stark, I don't feel well. It's just like, you're, you're, if you're not bawling, you're not feeling. It's like, oh my God. But um, this, uh, this had one of the, be- one of the funniest uh, Stan Lee cam- cameos uh, <laughs> because... As uh, everyone, all the kids on the bus notice that um, Alien Spaceship has arrived. And they're like, oh my god. And, St- and Stan's character, the bus driver, is like, you kids never noticed uh, Alien Ship before? It's like, technically they have. And they shouldn't be surprised anymore. Well, they should. But they're like, wow. Just like, oh cool. New York's being invited again. Fun, fun. Um, mm-hmm. So, that's number 21. And 22 is Endgame. Like, um, Endgame, no. Do you have to? Avengers, Avengers Endgame, yes. After geeking out about it, I, like I said, I just did, did a review on it. I loved it. My only nitpicking about it technically was that um, uh, Brie La- uh, Captain Marvel was in it for too long. Uh, Stanley's cameo was shitty. Hawkeye and Black Widow's logic was stupid because Hawkeye still had his family. When, when if um, uh, the the reverse snap was gonna work, and Rocket didn't have more screen time than he should have, in my opinion. But this had great humor, great action, um, and the, it had cathartic moments for Thor. Being that he finally, he got to talk to his mother, being that it was the day that she died. And Tony Stark got to talk to his father um, in a cathartic moment before being born himself. But, um, and being that it was all about time travel, it was a fun romp and everything. Um, the, having for Thor as, a, as fat Thor is just great. And, um, and yes, just having all the female Avengers show up to kick ass was just amazing. It's, it's one, it's one of the most awesome movies, awesome events to happen. And, um, Josh Brolin as Thanos has, has done really well as the badass of Marvel, um, Looking for uh so and so with uh, that looking forward to Doctor Strange two, Black Panther two, maybe Ant Man three if they're doing that one, um Captain Marvel two, uh Spider Man Far Away from Home, um Guardians three because hopefully we're getting Fat Thor, um Captain America four because technically it will be Falcon, um and yes. So, where do these two land on your list? Um, like I said, 21, 22, Infinity War, Endgame, basically, just, that's probably cheating. But, 
Did you guys love them? Did you guys hate them? What did you want to actually happen in the movies? Did it work out best? Did you geek out? Yeah. So like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. And thank you guys. We avenged the, the fallen. The Avengers have assembled. The Avengers are leaving. At you go.